Yo, what is up everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video with your host Ken Kook and today we get another Destiny 2 Trials Training video. Now in this video we're going to cover um, stasis grenades and their usability and utility. Uh, that way, because it's, it's very important and I'll explain it in the video I'm going to show you, it's very important to uh, know what your grenade can do, where it's effective, and then everything else that comes with it will come into play. Enemy placement, the map, your location on the map, so on and so forth, you know for this current sandbox update where uh, some grenades get a really a really long cooldown but they're very powerful while others have a very short cooldown but they're not as powerful right so you're not some grenades you're not going to see as often or you want to use those really powerful grenades but now it's we're at the point where we don't want to spam or we cannot spam certain grenades right that we're used to spamming so we really want to make the best of our grenades as we go forward so I covered stasis grenades first because I was in the last video and there will be a link in uh, there'll be a, a clickable box at the end of this video where you can go where I talk about the basis of you know <clears throat> making every um, what was my words it was it was making every grenade count essentially all right using your tools to maximize their potential to uh, hopefully give you the edge if not the win in your games and making it easier to go to the lighthouse right in trials so my so real quick my initial plan was to come out with this video and then release a couple of videos while i was on vacation for the next 10 days starting uh it is the 15th starting on 17th unfortunately i will not get those extra videos out so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come out with this video and just say hey you know i know i had a, a really you know long cut of no content for a moment but now i'm going out of town so i'm going to have another you know week and a half of no content but when i get back i will be covering grenades again who knows bungie may tweak some of the abilities here and there by the time i get back because the first weekend of trials will hit we shall see um i will not be participating in that first weekend so it'll be interesting to see how everyone's really playing and uh, I expect the player base to be low. So anyway, with that aside, so I will be out of town for 10 days starting on the 17th. Um, so this video will be the final video for about a week and a half. I encourage you, if you do like this video, um, thumb it up. You can let me, you know, you can leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll get to it when I can. Uh, I do, you know, I do watch YouTube on my phone. So while I'm traveling, um, I'm sure I'll see comments here and there and I can respond there. As well as check out the other videos, the older videos, even though... Like, there are videos that go all the way back to the first year of Destiny 2. Even though they're going that far back, I still talk about the th same things today. And they've aged very, very, very well. Where sometimes people, you know, will come out with a video and, Oh, this is the best new gun and this is the best new role and blah, blah, blah. I've, I've usually, by luck or by forethought, I've talked about things that have always held up to the test of time. And I've... And I've said things in my live stream, uh, link in the description below over on Twitch. I've said it in my live stream for years. Like, it's the same things for years. So when you, you know, when you listen to what I have to say and, you know, you start to grasp, grasp some of the concepts that I have, hopefully they pick up and stick with you because this is years. And I spent years playing this game, right? I, I played it, you know. As long as anyone else out there has, could possibly have played it other than private beta testing. I did the alphas. Um, I did both alpha testing, the beta, and then I did the game, and I haven't stopped since. So, um, this is a lot of knowledge. If you're new to the game, or you never really dipped your toes into PvP, or you never thought about improving, this is years of knowledge on my YouTube channel and in my, in my live stream with my, you know, my thought my thought process and uh, play style to kind of, ec uh, what's the word? Accelerate, um your own growth in you know maybe getting a little bit better at certain things or you know a little bit better in a certain way where you may watch someone else or have seen someone else and it's like wow that looks really cool but you're not at the point where you can pull it off uh, you're probably at the point where you can pull off some of the things i do because it's it's literally like uh uh it's a rinse and repeat motion and it's just i i always try to choose the you know what's gonna what's gonna keep the risk factor down and that's easy for everyone it's hey you know you have your super they have no super you probably want to go use your super why they don't have a stupor to stop you and now there shouldn't be really any ability that just one shots you out of that super 
Granted, you could get team shot out of it if you're not smart. You cut the corner and pop while you're in the open, so on and so forth, you know, and I've covered that numerous times. Anyway, let's go ahead and dive into this video. We're going to talk about stasis. I have um, some Warlock gameplay. I believe I have a little bit of Hunter gameplay. I decided not to do the Titan, even though the Titan can do some things, like uh, they can play their ice with their shield, right? So they can use their grenades in more riskier locations. Because they have a Titan shield, they can drop wherever they want. Um, I just didn't see the value as much as I wanted to because their grenades are just the basic grenades. And I can cover the basic grenades on the Warlock and then the enhanced grenades on the Hunter. So um, let's go ahead and dive right into this. Here we go. Here's some clip and we get, you know, genuine. Uh, we'll have genuine uh, audio from me and my friend Force. We were just talking while we were, you know, I was trying to get this footage. I know that sidearm look, makes it look like a linear. I think they do have a linear though. Oh, and and let me let me make this point uh, real quick. Now I wanted to get footage from natural gameplay. I didn't want to go into private. Like I could go into privates and simulate this all I want, but I wanted to have the natural gameplay. That way everyone can see kind of what's going on you know what to really expect I, I could say well if this scenario pops up in this scenario so I went in and that's another reason with the stasis grenades they're easier to get these scenarios off because they actually do way more than almost any than any of the grenades in the game pretty much uh, when it comes to the light subclasses the grenades in the game they either come out and deal a burst of damage or they deal damage over time in an area they're not really there to lock down a lane like ice walls or you know um freeze people right like cold snaps or if you're lucky the the, the vor you know the the vortex grenade uh, i forgot the dust field nade right so um i could you know be throwing suppressors at walls all day long i might not get a suppressor off right or an incendiary good incendiary nade right so a lot of those grenades i felt like these grenades were easier to get off in a real-time experience um, and i didn't want to like push for an a non-natural play because it's very important i do like to get gameplay in here and i know there, there's been a, a a slew of videos where i haven't had any actual gameplay and i really need to come back and get back to the gameplay uh clips as well as the um as well as the uh the scenarios and the what ifs right and what you should be keeping your eyes out for so you know here we go once again is it, is it the I, got fucked up about it earlier. I don't know he didn't kill me yeah there was a side on called the chosen that just like yeah took my soul yeah i'm not sure if the uh Ooh, why do you suck at sniping all right so right here um let me Oops. Let me go ahead and maximize this screen a little bit. So right here, because again, I'm trying to look for like a natural, like a, a, a natural grenade or a natural use of my grenade. I got to the heavy, right? Um, and I, I kind of, it's like an afterthought, right? This is where you see, I didn't want to waste my nade. It's a long cooldown. No one was really to my right side. Under normal circumstances, I would not have thrown that grenade. If I wasn't doing this for the video, I wasn't going to throw my grenade. Now, this was one of those grenades where I was like, man, I really, I really haven't had to use it for anything. I haven't had to block off a res or anything yet or, um, you know, block off heavy. So I threw it there just because it's like, hey, if an enemy was out there, I would not have hesitated. I would have dropped that grenade right away. Now, on the enemy team, if you look at the top right of the screen, um, I'm trying to get to where we can see like the colors very well. But if you look at the top right, of, uh, top middle of the screen towards the enemy team, it's two stasis and one storm color, right? So they got that. Now, I pop my rift, and my rift is getting popped for a cooldown ability. Um, and now here we are just, you know, I've used my grenade to block off a lane because the potential of an enemy even though they weren't there they could have rotated around while i was trying to get heavy but i threw it you know i got on heavy i sat on heavy which i normally tell people not to do but again you know um the reason i sat on heavy was because nothing was happening there was no one around the enemy team wanted to fight the long lane with our you know third Man, random teammate on our team <laughs> I just, I just, I just did not want so i just i dropped the ice wall now in this clip you're going to see me drop an ice wall in more of a 1v1 situation actually which is very good and um 
it oh, fails actually. So speaking of goofiness from earlier, you know, uh, uh, so the the grenade the grenade Punisher throw was a failure. Prizes role as Punisher for Disney, but the Matt Murdock that was played is going to reprise his role. Oh, okay, so Shane don't want to do it no again. Yeah, he doesn't want to do a goofy Punisher because it's Disney. He said he doesn't want to do a goofy Punisher. All right, so at this moment in the clip. Um, I'm in a 1v1, the radar tells me the enemy's in front of me, and I want to make sure before I throw my grenade, because my grenade is a, is a wall and it's a line, so it's going to form a line uh, perpendicular to where I'm facing, unless it like bumps off a wall and falls oddly, and then maybe it's going to make a parallel line to me, uh, but it usually should be perpendicular if I just throw it straight out and it hits just the ground from where I threw it and where I'm looking, right? So I wanted to make sure that the, I wanted to make sure exactly where the enemy was. I wanted to know if he was behind the left tree or to the right of the tree or closer, right by the bodies. I needed to know before I threw my grenade. No. Oh, they wanted to do. So I didn't get a call out from my teammate, right? And I looked and confirmed with my own eyes. As soon as I did, I took cover and I'm like, all right, I know where I want to put my grenade. I want to put my grenade somewhere in the water, in front of the ghost, maybe connecting to that little, uh the little square rock over there um but i actually mess it up and it clips a corner so i quickly adjust and i'm like you know what let me just go up here the enemy the enemy thought that i was going to ape them so they stayed back with their bow um and i just take cover behind the block grab the res and as soon as i get the revive i challenge even if i was weak i probably would have challenged the enemy to give my teammates time teammate time to move if i could not safely get that second revive while they were dying right because remember they can't move when they get yeah, revived they, and they can know. die way be so we they can die against a sniper um <clears throat> a sniper can kill a person being revived before their yeah, body the even two, shows fuse, up visually because that's how early you can kill someone with a sniper when they're, they're getting revived possible damage so uh fusion do you have the exiles curse the trials fusion oh okay Yeah, man, it kills. <clears throat> hey, All right, so here we go. We got the dust field nade on, and this is where I use the dust field nade to kind of zone the enemies out. They actually, a lot of weird s nonsense happens right here. Um, no, this is the turret, actually. I throw the turret instead because I needed to get a turret clip in. That probably could have been a good, uh, that could have been a good, uh, Look at them. Look look at all this nonsense going on in this room. <laughs> then I almost died. That could have been a good dust field name, but then it would have they could have easily walked out of the dust field name or it wouldn't have lasted as long. That turret, they they ignored that turret. So one of the one of the things one of the unique options that the Stasis Warlock has is with the right aspect you're running, you can turn you can charge your grenade, right? And turn it into a turret that will shoot autonomously at just whatever is near it. And if they get shot enough, they will freeze. It'll interrupt revives. As you can see, it took this person a long time to get the revive. Um, if you look, they start reviving before me. Like the ghost is already white. I'm, I jump up on here, but the turret's messing them up. Now, they were able to get the revive off in between the turret bursting them. However, the turret did eventually uh, you know, freeze that person. I was able to kill the guy that... Couldn't move all because they were revived, so they really couldn't move. They were only frozen for a second. The other, the other person. Um, but we were able to take them out. I rode up and all I heard was shoot. My guy just disappeared. Um, I think this, I think this is a dust field nade that I just. We're in a three v two, so I just kind of, I think I just kind of lock something down or throw it somewhere. The turret is very, very useful, and you can use it whenever you have any grenade. So it's. It's another option for stasis grenades, and it's very powerful. Um, or did I just save this clip twice? Is this where everything goes down in that room? This? No, no, no. Okay, boom. All right, so I throw a dust field nade over there in the hopes of keeping them oh, from yeah. going to the right. He come, Somebody comes out absolute, and then this dude's over here, oh, and I can't. Fusion, there we go. I got my fusion. So I'm excited for that play. Ridiculous. I don't use fusions often uh so i do throw a long grenade now it's not the greatest grenade but i seen my teammate look if you look at force's name he's challenging from the left so 
in my mind, I'm like, hey, let's throw my dust field nade and maybe keep him from leaving that room. And he'll hesitate, stay in there, and he'll either maybe die to force or when I get this revive up, uh, we can collapse on him. And the other person that's on the team, if they challenge, they're, I don't have to worry about them challenging me with their teammate, right? I can fight a 1v1, Force can fight a 1v1. So I throw my grenade. Again, they can run through the dusk field all they want. And Force had that person really, really weak because when they came through my dusk field and I seen them, they were 1%. And I just, all I had to do was hit them with anything I had. And what do you know? I have a four burst pulse rifle. So it only took a bullet from that. And that was a wrap. The dust field doesn't, I don't think oh, the dust yeah, field that's... kills. Oh. I don't remember, but it definitely keeps his health weak from regenerating. So it helped. Ooh, and then uh, me and this dude sloppily trade shots. You know what? Mm -hmm. All right. And then the cold snap was probably the hardest one for me to get off. I actually made a play I never would have made uh, in any other fashion, really, uh, in a trial setting, because I would have played way more reserved if I, if I, you know, if need be. And we played against a really good team um, this game, so I got one chance to use the grenade, and I really never got another chance to use it. Like this team was, uh, this team was that good um, compared to everything else we played. So. This is the grenade where I was like, you probably want to lead with this grenade and then follow through because you're going to make the, if you're not going to freeze the enemy, the enemy definitely has to move, right? So that's how I played this grenade. I'm like, let me put that exact line into practice. I'm going to throw it. I'm going to run up behind it and I'm going to attack whatever's moving. If it's jumping, if it's flying, if it's shade stepping, sliding, I'm going to attack it win or lose. I wanted to show that this is what I mean when I said you probably want to follow when I say lead with your grenades and follow through with the play, you're you're immediately following the grenade. You're not waiting for the grenade to like you're not waiting for skips to start do damage numbers, right? You are throwing them and you're right behind them as almost as fast as possible. So we kind of chill over here. I wait a second. I kind of get a feel for the enemy. I didn't even know what kind of team we were walking into until, you know, uh, I seen what kind of play and I'm like, all right. There's a guy back there. I'm scared. Yeah. A guy jumps in. Boom. As soon as I throw it. As soon and I and he messes up his jump and I mess up my uh my shot. As soon as I threw that grenade, which it didn't track him. Sad to see. Sad to see. What that was a warlock too. I'm surprised it didn't even track him. But he, you know, it, it made him panic. It looks like he was uh slowed by something else. I don't know if As far as I know, unless Force hit him with something, I don't know that it f slows upon impact like that. So that was odd. He was able to Icarus dash, but he wasn't able to jump or anything. So, but again, as soon as I threw it, I was in there. I went, all right, throw it, get in there, follow through, right? The grenade did nothing, but it did make him move. You know, he panicked, moved, ran into a wall, the, which uh, uh, helped me out. So that was a big plus for me. Um... Oh, I actually try to make another play with this, or is this... I actually try to make another play with this. All right. So I do have another opportunity. This is the Dusk Field nade, right? And I'm not sure what I do with it. I'm trying to see. Oh, this is where... Okay, boom. I put this... So he's in the corner. I put the Dusk Field nade down. I get shot in my back. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. He actually freezes. I don't even notice that he freezes, and then he fails to die. Uh, and I do die. So I put the dust field nade there. He wanted to play in his rift, which was fine. Um, the idea of that was to push him back a little further away from the doorway. Because if he wanted to stand in the door and take damage and maybe get slowed or frozen, I could get the revive. Uh, and a lot of that had to do with, you know, I was hoping my teammate was going to since I was shot from my back, I'm like, all right, I was shot on my back. My teammate's going to fight. Like, there's my teammate. I'm shot in my back. My teammate's going to fight that. But for whatever reason, um, shot my back? Uh, you know, or I, I put a lot of faith in my teammate right there to make that play to save me and protect me, which is risky. But, you know, in this in the situation, I had to take Why that risk, right? So... <clears throat> Yeah, and then my and my teammate went on to flank, and then <laughs> and, and then and then got gunned down right there. So, um, 
<clears throat> and those are the grenades. Once again, we have the dusk field nade, we have the ice wall grenade, we have the cold snap grenade, and then the warlock has the turret. I didn't show off the enhanced grenade on the hunter for the ice wall because it just ch takes the wall and turns it into a circle. Uh, like you're looking in a donut and the middle is just hollowed out under most uh, cases. Um, it can be very useful for blocking off, you know, narrow, taller doorways like that don't have like a ceiling to it, right? Maybe you want the ice to really cluster up and force people to jump over it, so on and so forth. And this team, I don't think they ran stasis. So if I actually ran the ice wall like that dude, okay, yeah, they didn't have stasis. So if I actually ran the ice wall and instead of putting a dusk field nade here i threw an ice wall nade here they had to shoot through all that ice and now i don't even have to worry about them i could have turned around at that point in time with that grenade on and fought the 2v1 and then turned around to fight another 3v1 because hopefully he still would not have broken through the ice easily and i would have been able to uh get the revive off and then at that point in time we're 04 they're possibly they're possibly i'm only 50 percent of my super they're possibly going to come across a super but with the super changes i think they uh won most of them around so quickly they probably weren't even going to have a super themselves but once again that's all i got for the video thank you so much for watching i super appreciate it uh just a, another friendly reminder that i will be out of town starting on the 17th for 10 days um so i won't have any other videos to upload but again the, the catalog of Trials training videos and Destiny 2 discussion videos, some of them are very long, some of them are short. Um, on average, I would say they're, you know, 20 minutes long, give or take maybe 10 minutes. Sit down, find some time, check out those videos. Again, they're still relevant to today. They are still relevant to today. It's very, they're very useful, and I hope it helps you on this weekend going into trials where once again i still think the player base is going to be small because there is no new loot there's nothing new in the loot pool no reason to go into it um i've actually been finding it hard to just put myself on destiny throughout this iron banner week because i don't care for the iron banner loot there's nothing i need in the iron banner loot the 30th patch that came out there's nothing i want or need from it so i didn't buy it so I, I just find myself in a tough place to actually just get on the game and be like, well, something useful to get. And it's just like, no, nah, I'm just here to play PvP. And if I'm not feeling it that day, I go do something else. So um, with that being said, everyone else, I hope you are enjoying your time. If you got the DLC, if you didn't, I hope you're still enjoying your time. And if you do try to go into trials, good luck. Um, if you have trouble this weekend, just leave comments you know, down in the comment section below in the video. Uh, you know, and ask about the map or it, whenever you see the map and what it is, go check out those other videos, the older videos, just probably type in the, you know, go to my channel, search for the name of the video and you may find it, or you may have to browse through all of my videos in the playlist and you'll find where I talk about whatever map's going to show up. If it's not a new map that's never been shown, I've talked about it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas.